Hey loves what's going on? This is SG here. I'm gonna be um giving you guys some channel messages that I have for you guys that I should have uploaded last night, but I did not. Uh, let's see. Hold on, let me find my pen. Hmm. Pardon me, I do have my grandchild with me, y'all, so he get a little hyper. <laughs> So he'd probably be messing around with the value too. So I apologize ahead of time. Um, okay, so you guys, I received some channel messages as I stated before. Um, you guys are going to have, if you guys are dealing with two individuals or you're dealing with one person, this person may have another person on the side that undecided between you and um, another individual. But also there's another person who's undecided between you and two individuals. Okay, hold on, let me. <clears throat> so I know I already said this one. Um, also, I picked up something about you guys um, are trying to go into some type of uh, collaboration or towards some type of business. Um, this could be between um, a fire science. This could be actually the same as this um, one individual who's undecided between two individuals that they want to collaborate with for towards a business. <coughs> okay. I was picking up something about uh, fire signs where each of you have fire signs in your chart, Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Also, I was picking up something about you guys need to watch how much you're um, thinking about investing towards this business with these individuals because I do feel like there's a, a person, like if you guys um, decided that you want to go in business with someone and uh, whether that's two individuals or one or three individuals <clears throat> and you guys open up a business account, um, I did get you need to be mindful of that. Yeah, especially if somebody's trying to push you to do that because I feel like this person is going to clean house. And I literally mean clean house. They're going to wait till you get to a certain amount and they're going to actually take the funds out of the bank. So also I picked up you guys need to patent uh, whatever business um, that you guys were thinking of or to actually get an LLC. Um, I was picking up ASAP. And yeah, here's the one about the uh, the bank account depositing funds into the account you're going to start noticing if you guys already did this you, uh, if i were you i'll start uh make a note of that also be mindful if you have family friends um it could be lovers or um just somebody you know from back in the day <clears throat> to collaborate with and start a business um i was picking up some really like seven of swords energy like somebody's been really sneaky about something um in regards to the funds like say um i make a deposit right and you guys make the deposit and then you screenshot and you send it in a group text or to the person that you're thinking about going into a business with. Be mindful that that person may say that they put like 200 or 500, whatever the amount, whatever the case it may be. And then what they do is they wait a few minutes and they actually go back and uh, withdraw those funds from the account. So if you don't have an alert, um, my thing is I put alert on as anyone depositing any account, uh, anything into the account and if someone withdraw certain amounts from the account. Um, so I suggest you put an alert on so that you'll know that this person did indeed uh, steal some funds without your knowledge. Uh, let's see. Also be mindful. There's somebody doing something really sneaky while you're sleeping or in your, in your resting state. I don't know if you're taking naps uh, or going to bed for the evening or checking in for the evening. I did pick up that energy that somebody's doing something while you uh, sleep or in the dark. <coughs> Excuse me, loves. Uh, let's see. This, I already said this. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I, I keep They keep drawing me to this missing funds. Okay. Um, you guys need to be really mindful of giving people your passcode to your phones, too. That was one, too, actually. Hold on, because I know I put it down. Uh, yeah, see, change your passcodes, okay? Change your passcodes, your email passwords, whatever. Um, whatever. You, if you guys somebody your passcode or email, uh, like, in order to access certain things, you guys need to change that, update it. Okay, I got that all. So, this, I noticed this. I wasn't even finished with the other side, but Spirit led me to, because this came up. So, I had, uh, and I know everything is synchronistic. So, I had this yellow nail polish on so yellow, gold, canary, diamond uh, colors is like my favorite color, okay? So I remember when my dad, <clears throat> when my dad was ill, 
um, we were noticed his eye color was changing. It was um, not white, okay? Uh, where the white part is supposed to be at, outside the pupil area. And we started noticing that it was getting like this brownish, yellowish color, right? Um, and a friend, it's ironic, like you can tell your family or your friend something and then they don't listen to you, but when it be a friend of theirs or somebody else, like a lover or something, tell them something, then they'll listen, right? <laughs> so a friend just happened to tell my dad that, hey, you know, I noticed your, your eye color, um, is yellow you know like some babies they born with uh yellow jaundice or is it jaundice yellow jaundice it's been a long while you guys my kids are older so i don't know but i'm quite sure you guys who are parents know okay so my thing is as i was cleaning it because it was peeling my mom had this thing about you know you ladies should never be outside or on video or anything of that nature with your hair looking a hot mess or um, your nails looking a hot mess, right? So I know she's talking about me really bad, y'all. So look, you can still see the little discoloration. Actually, I'm glad they did that. I gotta do a clean my cuticles, but do you see that slight little yellow? So I felt inclined to tell you guys to check your eyes, your nail colors, um, to see if it's any type of yellowish, brownish color. Um, Spirit wants you guys to uh, seek a physician, okay? So that's I found that that must be the most important one because I flipped this to give you guys about the change of passcode um, and your passwords to your devices and stuff. Also, it was something about, oh yeah, Spirit said to, you know, okay, so I know a lot of people that's light workers, a lot of, um, how should I say this? Because it doesn't have to necessarily be certain elements because I noticed that I have a sibling who is um, and my one of my daughters that are, um, what do you call it? Earth signs, right? And you know, a lot of earth signs are very caring and nurturing, yeah? So I noticed that, it in water signs too, but I noticed that you guys need to be careful and be mindful because I had to wake up to, you know, you can't always make other people happy. You have to make yourself happy. Um, and you will draw in those uh, individuals as well. So Spirit wants you guys to, you know, stop feeling as though you have to cater to everybody especially if you're not getting that energy exchange okay um it goes hand in hand you have to make sure you're taking care of self whether it's self-love going out taking yourself out for coffee if you're a coffee drinker or tea or even going out just for a cocktail it's okay to do that by yourself um i used to wonder because i had someone in my energy before um back in the day and they used to tell me uh, you know, it's okay to have your, your uh, quality time to yourself, even if you're in a relationship. Um, go out for a nice walk, you know, treat yourself, go get your hair and your nails done, you know, massage, things of that nature. It's okay to do that and it's okay to do it with your partner as well. So you guys take some time out for yourself and um, underneath that, ironically, <laughs> isolation is needed too. So um, sorry about my hair, right? Um, okay, what else? So something else, make you happy first. Uh, your happiness comes before anyone else's, okay? Um, you can't help everyone who don't want to help themselves. Um, you guys also have to be cautious because I noticed when I made my tea, like, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, tea. This could be somebody made <laughs> that just made some tea because right here I have uh, stated tea or coffee. I'm a coffee drinker and I love tea as well. But <clears throat> when I noticed when I make, uh, prepare coffee, if you don't have one of really, really expensive uh coffee makers <clears throat> i noticed that if you put creamer in there if, if you don't have your creamer um at room temperature keep in mind that even though that creamer can actually make it a little bit more room temperature and it's not as hot as you want so i put it in the microwave and i don't like microwaving things right so once i put it in the microwave my grandson walked towards me no 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 this is the first time i put it in there because it's the second cup don't laugh so i put it in there and i heated it up and i came over here and i sipped it it still wasn't hot enough, right? So I went back and I was going to start you guys' uploads. So as I did that, my my grandson ran towards the microwave and I immediately, it was like spirits like turn around. So I turned around and I had to push my grandson back. So you guys need to be careful when you're um, heating things up, even if that's over the stove. So I'm getting somebody's heating some water in a small um, metal brownish pot. It's like an old school pot. So y'all need to be careful with that. My grandson likes to repeat stuff, so you'll hear in the background. So also, um, be careful. Grandson, grandson, cut it out now. 
Um, sorry about that, y'all. He gets excited when he watches shows. Um, let's see. You hear him? <laughs> okay, so um, be mindful of that. If somebody's going to um, burn their tongue, the tip of their tongue, so be very careful. Uh, cautious of any hot solutions. Um, I don't know why I'm picking up something with acid. Um, I did pick up something about acid before. Whew. Uh, let's just say some really ill intent people out here. So you guys need to be mindful of that. Okay. Um, be careful who you got in your surroundings. Okay. So I said this about the missing funds. Took care of that. Makes a withdraw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, makes a deposit and then withdraw. Okay. I also picked up something. Oh, when I did this deck, I was shuffling a deck. What is the name of the deck? Just in case y'all may want to know. Um, this deck right here. I was shuffling this deck yesterday. Uh, I don't know. I just sat down and started shuffling the deck. Pardon me, y'all. Uh, I was shuffling the deck, and I kept getting up this this uh, King of Swords. It was air signs. Uh, King of Swords. Did I put the other ones? Yeah, King of Swords, Seven of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles, okay? And then we'll make it so bad. I shuffled that, and then I shuffled... What was the other one? Spirit, let's see. I shuffled that one, and then I shuffled the Pride Tarot deck. And I kid you not, I wish I would have recorded it. I have, I'm going to try to start recording it when I do that. That way, when it comes up, you guys will see um, the double clarification. I actually did that for clarification. And... Uh, what happened was I kept getting this uh, King of Wands, King of Swords, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, okay? So you guys need to be really mindful of the what you're investing in, what you're saving. Also, I did pick up something about you guys leaving money in the house. Stop leaving money in, in the house. I feel like somebody's going to steal your funds. I don't know if this is a friend or a family member, so be mindful of that. Stop telling people what y'all got in your house, too. So <laughs> that's going to uh, play a major role, okay? Uh, let's see. I do feel like somebody is... Um, how should I say this? Uh, manipulating you guys as well when it comes to your uh, finances or your home. Um, something about screenshots. Somebody's screenshotting your house, things that's in your house. Because that's ironic. I put screenshot when I was speaking about the deposits and the withdrawals. And Spirit has gotten me to show me uh, the King of Swords, the uh, Seven um, of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. But the screenshot is literally on top. Let me show y'all. Look, the uh, screenshot and then the King of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. So y'all need to be mindful of where you're putting your money. Um, also be mindful of what you have in your house. That somebody's uh, screenshotting or doing some type of video of your home. I don't know why that is. It could be sending it to somebody or ops of yours. Okay. So if you guys have certain ops, you may be dealing with somebody who's in communication with an ops of yours. Okay. <sighs> um, Let's see. It was something else. Also, you guys need to pay more attention to red flags. I feel like somebody is literally love bombing you. Okay. Telling you what you want to hear to get into your pants or drawers or get you to F them. I can't really speak the way I like to speak, you guys, because y'all know I'm very blunt and I have a potty mouth when my grandson is here. So I have to be mindful what I say. So also, you guys are going to find out that somebody got a sneaky link. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how this this tying into the um, red flags obviously this person is not who they claim to be or they just putting on a facade um to get you to where they want you to be so it says sneaking in not certain how this ties into the yeah to the equation unless you have some type of sexual or romantic relationship with this person okay uh telling you what they want uh telling you what they know you want to hear so you guys need to be mindful of that just pay attention because everybody always snitch on themselves and they don't even know it so um yeah i love bombing okay uh let's see something about you guys okay oh yeah 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 be mindful of uh what you see if you guys got cameras be mindful of what's on your cameras always check your cameras and make sure you're sending you guys alerts too uh you may find something that you may not want to see um that's actually going to shock you so i literally have beware and overhead cameras so if you could see that down there okay just want to show i don't know why they want me to show you guys that but whatever also if you guys um spirit told me to tell you guys to wait four weeks um wait 
just weigh something out now it's this picking up something in regards to some seven of swords energy some type of sneaky stuff and i'm also picking up that sneaky link thing again um whoever this person is too that you guys are trying to collaborate with um I, I feel that you guys need to be mindful of that because i keep picking up something about um if you wait something out don't move fast with this person even if it's like sex if you guys haven't been sexually active with somebody wait it out i feel like this person is gonna um move on to someone else okay i don't know what it's like they prey on people so be mindful of that um i'm also picking up something I they was guiding me to look at the time and it was exactly 9 58 i don't know what that has anything to do with it or check your cameras at 9 58 a.m that may um you may see something on your cameras okay uh also suspicious character hmm oh this tied in with the same thing so hold on let me scratch that out yeah because it said be mindful of your technology see that's so weird uh i want y'all to sit at the bottom you know sometimes we want to see the proof the proof is in the pudding <laughs> Okay, so that was all you guys channeling. I'm trying to think of what else came through. Uh, that's because that's all I can think of right now that I actually literally wrote down. Okie dokie, smokies. Hold on one second. Mm. Let's see. <clears throat> so let's get it on and pop and see what else is coming out for you guys. Um, you guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you're currently not a sub. We would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. <clears throat> it helps the channel out. Continue to help the channel to grow. Appreciate it. I did keep seeing the hermit mode, too. So, if somebody could be looking for you guys, too, or you guys have, um, are in isolation at this time, too. So, sorry about the shaking of the table or the desk. Okay, so what else you have for the collector? Not the queen of wands. I do feel like somebody's gonna be standing in the ground with you guys, okay? Um, you're gonna feel a shift in energy-wise too. Somebody's trying to hide their face, their true authentic self, so be mindful of that. <laughs> somebody knows that you know about a third individual, uh, somebody from the past. And also picking up somebody from your past could be uh, reaching out to you guys. I'm picking up the Eight of Wands for some reason, but it hasn't jumped out yet. But that's what I'm picking up um, energetic wise. Let's see. I don't know. If, a lot of you want to know if you're going to be getting married. I do see that because we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay. I hope y'all can see. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure y'all can see the cards. Because I hate having to literally pull them up there and you guys can see them. So let me see. I also feel like Spirit is going to show you guys something in regards to some type of business aspect. Okay. And you're wondering. Damn. Okay. <laughs> and you're wondering if you're actually going to be able to manifest all this on your own. You can do anything you set your mind to, you guys. So please don't let nobody discourage you. Okay. And um, I know somebody was wondering about the elements. Hold on one second, love. Because this is a collective reading. Keep that in mind. If it does not fit, please do not force it. There will always be something that any reader, not just myself, will say that may resonate with you guys. And that's how you'll know it's for you. Okay? It also could be something that I say, something that I do. Um, let's see. Hold on one second. Oh. The Hermit. And the King of Wands. Okay, so... Like I stated previously, uh, Spirit will show you guys something in regards to some type of business aspect. What is this bird called? Uh, dang it, I forgot the name of this bird. Because I've seen this bird. Spirit, uh, Spirit showed me this bird to show me that I have a royalty bloodline. Okay, so, but it's not this color. It was a blue one. <clears throat> Literally a beautiful blue one. Um, not a peacock. I forgot the name of this bird. Just that fast. You see it? So you guys may be showing this bird too in a vision. Um, in your resting state or while you're conscious, okay? Also, you guys need to be mindful of what you, I'm telling you, I keep getting something to be mindful of what you invest in. Whatever you save, 
And you see how this person is putting money in a little lock box? That's why I said be careful because I picked this up. This is double confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. But I'm, I'm telling you, somebody's being really sneaky. You guys need to pay attention to what and how much you're putting away to. <clears throat> be mindful of that. So I'm also... What we have on the board is Air, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I think we have everything, to be honest. I do have Virgo, highly aspected, aspected here. Somebody's doing some type of manipulation. Okay, this could be a Capricorn doing this for you guys. And we have Capricorn right there. Or you guys are addicted to something. I don't know if you guys are out there doing, um, playing the lottery. <laughs> Or going to these, uh, what they call this? My grandma used to do all the time. Going to the boats. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ten of wands, ten of cups. So, I don't know if you, are you guys saving for a house? I'm picking up somebody's savings for a house as well. Getting the keys to a house, a new house. Okay. I'm also picking up you guys found out that you're in a third party situation. Be mindful that this third party that your lover thought they was <laughs> dealing with on the low low. One of them individuals, because I'm picking up somebody has multiple individuals that you don't know about. But this person, one of them individuals is gonna walk away. They may end up <laughs> letting you know that your love interest was sneaking around and could have been talking shit about you behind your back of what you don't do and not telling their partner whatever the case may be so you know that tend to happen so what else can you do about it but this person a sneaky ass is going to come out in, in the end so you will be notified of it so 